guys, this is Dylan from PWS. Today we're gonna go over your SAX 200 power supply. Take a look at some of the hardware, features of the machine, and also setting it up. On the back of the machine, there is a rotary style on and off switch, ethernet port, and our two gas inlets. It is strongly recommended to use Axair's pipe gas distributor. This Y style adapter allows operators to connect an argon bottle with a regulator directly to the machine. Then use the gas flow adjustment knobs on the front of the machine to control both our head gas flow and our internal gas flow. On the front of the machine, you'll find the 5.7 inch color touchscreen, the weld head cable attachment hook, the USB key, the internal gas flow and torch gas flow adjustment knobs, the internal gas flow and torch gas flow outlet connectors, the weld head connector and auxiliary connector for PPM or manual torch, the S-Cool 700 cooling unit connector, and lastly, the ground and electrode connections. If an S-Cool cooling unit is attached, then you will also see the tank fill port and the two quick disconnect fitting for the coolant lines. Once all connections are installed, the machine is ready to be powered on. If this is the first time turning on a SAX 200 power supply, then you will likely land on the language page. To choose a language, tap on the flag associated with your country and language of origin. Also, on the initial startup of a new SAX 200, you will need to go through the adjustment page. This page allows you to set your unit of measurement date, time, usernames, and passwords. If this is a rental unit, then default parameters have been selected and the default users, admin, welder, and operator have not been adjusted. Logging in under these usernames will give you the listed access. Admin has complete access to all functions. Welder has full function access except for modifying user list. Operator cannot create erase, or modify a program. They cannot use dynamic mode, and they do not have access to the adjustment menu. Passwords can be found in the SAX 200 operations manual or by contacting PWS. Hey guys, thanks for watching. If you have any other questions about Axair products or the SAX 200 power supply, feel free to reach out.